All right. Next up, we have Yuka e-commerce it trades on the otc pink sheets under the symbol grcvd and is an e-commerce company dedicated to providing strategic sales channels for brands looking to enter or expand into the global e-commerce market today we have mr avaton with us yuka e-commerce's ceo and i see two other ladies welcome everyone hello hi everybody all right you all take it away welcome glad you're here Okay, thank you that you uh, in this uh, conference uh, TV and uh, we have a, a D, B sales and we have a shy Vitam uh, as a, a one, the owner of this company as well. And uh, we will present a business uh, plan for the next uh, 30 minutes and Adi will start. Hi guys, thank you for uh, being with us and I'm going to just uh, close our camera so we can delve into the into the presentation. Um, so we're UK Ecom, we're very excited to present you with, uh, with who we are, what we do and what we have lined up for the future. Uh, we're a placement and distribution agency. Um, one second, oh there we go. We're a placement and distribution agency specializing in uh, the e-commerce space and TV placement. Uh, we work with partner brands, growing our assortment to provide visibility for them uh, through various sales channels. Essentially, our mission is to offer a full spectrum of sales solutions. And what differs us from many other businesses in this space is that we have the ability to offer A to Z solutions, everything from imagery and content creation uh, to fulfillment, uh, pick and pack, dropship solutions, uh, and of course, sales on the many platforms. Our company was established in 2010, uh, and early on, we identified the surge in e-commerce. Amazon, as you all know, started selling books, but the e-commerce space has propelled itself to new heights, especially given last year's global pandemic, which we're still seeing the fallout from that this year, many brick and mortars were shut down, retail uh, was then redirected a lot to the online. And as a result, numbers are at the highest. Uh, our company has partnered up with many large accounts and many online players under the Yuka umbrella, including Groupon, Hotlook, which is a Nordstrom company, uh, many TV outlets, in order to showcase the many brands and products that we host in our portfolio. We're capable of, again, bulk shipping and drop shipping, uh, which sets us apart from many other services, because when you look at standard 3PL companies, you get charged an arm and a leg to touch a product, whereas we offer this as a comprehensive service to our brands uh, to ensure that we adhere by time restrictions for our platform um, and, and an overall positive customer experience. We offer a host of services, including marketing, online fulfillment, logistics, market research, consulting, and branding. Under branding also would fall product development and aligning a brand's vision with what the market is looking for. Our main services are marketing, uh, marketing includes and entails placement in either e-commerce spaces, TV segments on daytime TV, uh, TV networks, home shopping networks, wholesale, retail, and closeout distribution. Our online fulfillment and logistics capabilities uh, are paramount to the success of our business. Our ability to turn around orders quickly to ensure that quality control is met, uh, to minimize customer returns. All this is one and the same when we offer support to our brands and to our partner platforms. With uh, today's surge in e-commerce, a lot of consumers have very high expectations uh, and we're at the forefront to be able to meet those expectations and exceed them. Additional services we offer vary from market research, consulting, and branding. Every product that we ultimately onboard undergoes thorough review. So we vet the product start to finish. We compile extensive data um, as far as benchmark analysis, similar brands and products that are out there in the market in order to really target and hone in on the price points we need to be at to make this a win-win for everyone. 
As far as consulting and branding goes, we're capable of aligning a brand's vision with what our buyers are looking for. What sets us apart is the close relationships we have to upwards of 80 different platforms and channels of distribution. And this allows us to really have our finger on the pulse, have access to the buyer's wish lists, know what the trends in the market are, to be able to then take that information back to our brands and come up with new, innovative, and unique products and collections. The sales channels that we operate in, I touched on it briefly and we're gonna expand now. So our, our main focus is in the e-commerce space. E-commerce is broken up into three main categories. We have our online marketplaces, essentially perpetual deals. So the product lives on the site, it's accessible at any given time. Um, and and these, these are what's called marketplaces. Then we have our flash sale sites and partners. These are daily deal websites or event driven platforms wherein a brand or a product will run for a limited time special, five days, seven days with a various call to action. And then lastly, we also have our own proprietary websites, wholly owned websites by our company, by Yuka, uh, in which we operate and are able to showcase the various brands in our portfolio. Next, we have TV sales, which has gradually become a bigger part of our portfolio. We work with direct networks, as well as partners who have previously purchased airtime on daytime TV. So many shows like the Wendy Williams show, The View, The Doctors, uh, all these shows typically will have segments within their weekly programming where the host will endorse a product, offer it at an exclusive discount to end consumers, um, and a lot of these buyers reach out to us, to Yuka, in order to curate these segments, pitch different products for this placement. We also do quite a bit in retail and wholesale with partners at TJ Maxx, Bed Bath & Beyond, Urban Outfitters, and more. Uh, and then, of course, closeout and liquidation opportunities is another revenue source for us. We're a sales solution for brands of all sizes, whether you're small, medium, or larger, Many brands these days would prefer to focus on R&D, research and development, on product development. They either don't have the infrastructure or the know-how to open accounts with these large players or fulfill orders that then come in. What's unique about Yuka's business model is our ability to adapt, customize, and tailor an approach and solution to any brand we partner with. Among our e-commerce channels are you can see the list right here, but we work with over 40 state sales sites globally. Our focus these days is in the United States domestically, but we do have branches and connections to both sellers, platforms, and vendors worldwide. We currently work with UK-based home shopping networks. We work with uh, flash sites based out of Australia, Austria, and Singapore. So we're fully capable of shipping globally, um, and that's definitely on the list and on the agenda of expansions coming forth. Uh, these are just some logos. So again, Howlip, which is a Nordstrom company, Vitas, owned by Kroger, Groupon, which is a fantastic platform, Saks Fifth Avenue Online, Saks Fifth Canada, the list goes on and on. E-commerce sales globally have really exploded. In 2020, the category hit $4 trillion in sales and is projected to close close to 5 trillion in 2021. Today, more than half of Americans prefer to shop online and we are positioned at the forefront to take brands to get them more exposure, uh, whether it's adapting the products to the various platforms through imagery and content, translating that into cell phones and apps. Uh, we partner with our brands with the sole vision in mind to really expand their reach and take a piece of the e-commerce sales. This is a list of many of our TV channels and retail platforms. Again, as I said, we partner up either directly with the networks working with producers or through affiliates or partners that have previously purchased air rights or airtime on these various shows. We work with HSN, QVC, uh, Rula La TV, many, many shows through many networks and the list keeps growing especially in 2021, now that the pandemic seems to be a bit more under control. I think uh, we're gonna see tremendous growth in this field because through 2020, many shows were on pause, many shows were not filming, 
Uh, and we're definitely seeing a flood coming in now through many of our partners requesting for content, uh, asking for products, uh, which is very exciting for us. And this again, is some uh, logos of the various partners we work with and tactic companies through and through, whether we work with them directly or we work through partner placement, our brands are at the forefront. TV sales as well, similar to e-commerce, uh, are intended or projected to show tremendous increase. Uh, customers do engage in these TV shows, whether the customer actually viewed the show or then was retargeted uh, through social media. Our partners in TV placement uh, do include the various products featured on the show at a later time on other various platforms. So the reach constantly grows. Our targeted segmentation uh, essentially divvies up our partner vendors into four main categories. Obviously, there's some gray areas and some that fall into more than one sector, but Yuka has the ability to really offer solutions to the following. Uh, small e-commerce sellers, sellers that don't have fulfillment abilities. Uh, again, if you outsource fulfillment to a 3PL, you're looking at a charge for every single action that third-party fulfillment center does, whether it's touching the master carton, removing the product inside, picking and packing, et cetera. This is something that we offer as support and as a service to our vendors. Uh, and as support and service to our buyers and platforms so that we can ad adhere with the turnaround times required. Manufacturers looking for A to Z solutions. I mentioned earlier, we do work globally. We have many vendors based out of Europe, of Asia, um, who don't have a footprint in the United States. Uh, we'll get containers delivered directly to Yuka, and then we'll see to everything from storage to sales to fulfillment. Uh, private labels that don't have resources that may want to use some of our services and close out and liquidation opportunities. We work in many categories and what's unique about our sales team and Yuka's vision as a whole is if the numbers make sense, we will make it work. Among our top categories are CBD, beauty, sports and outdoors, kids, home, health and wellness, etc. So we play in any category that presents a, an inherent opportunity. Um, we'll never turn away a new vendor. We'll never say no to reviewing a product. It is only after thorough analysis, after thorough review, that we will then decide whether or not we will onboard. So we are positioned to be fortunate enough to cherry pick our partners and our vendors. Even though we do have a lot of people wanting to work with us, we only work with those that we know we can sell. Uh, home, for example, is a growing category. We've recently onboarded a massive uh, manufacturer of bedding. Uh, just a few weeks ago, deals are already live and we're seeing thousands of units move a week. So the potential is tremendous. Brands are constantly being you know, uh, innovated and brought to market. And many of them are looking for launch solutions and sales solutions. CBD is one of our main categories. CBD was legalized through a farm bill that was passed in 2018. Uh, and we were very quick to get ahead of it and ever since have been onboarding CBD brands. Our portfolio currently consists of over 20 full line CBD brands. CBD accounts for about 50% of our current revenue. We generated about 5 million in sales in 2020. This is a category that is gradually growing um, and, and essentially is exploding. You can look at the projected numbers for 2025 for the CBD industry to hit almost $7 billion in sales. A large portion of that is in edibles and in beauty. Both are fields that we hone in and focus on when onboarding new brands. Uh, we've identified beauty as a big category and paired with CBD, we're confident that we will be able to innovate and really reap the rewards of this exciting new category. Uh, the category does include edibles, oils, and even pets. What's unique about CBD, similar to beauty, which I'll speak to in a minute, is unlike electronics, for example, um, you know, where, where you buy a TV and the odds of you buying another TV in a month are slim, or you'll buy a hair tool and the odds of buying another hair tool in a year are slim. With uh, these sort of categories, the need to replenish the goods is tremendous. And if you have a quality product that is vetted 
and if you have the the data behind it to support the authenticity and the efficacy that what what you're offering that's going to just bring a flow of reviews and those reviews mean repeat clientele and so we currently have hundreds of listings for cbd goods in all various categories and the reviews do speak from themselves we see it through um reviews left on the platforms we operate in and reviews coming directly to our owned and operated websites. This is an example of the certificate of analysis. Uh, we do mandate that any new CBD product onboarded to our assortment uh, has a certificate of analysis from a third party lab. The COA essentially confirms that the claim of the amount of CBD that's in the product is in fact what is in it. And moreover, it also confirms that there is less than 0.3% THC in the product, which is the legal requirement. Essentially, trace amounts of THC are legal. Uh, and so we do thoroughly vet and check for this. As I mentioned, beauty is another very strong category of ours. Uh, beauty worldwide is projected to hit $716 billion by 2025. Um, it generated about 30% of our revenue in 2020, just about $3 million. Our projections are to grow it to 45% in 2021. We do have a very unique brand assortment, more than 80 beauty brands in our portfolio, including nationally recognized brands sold at Sephora and Ulta. We do quite a bit of luxury high-end skincare, which is a huge hit and a big favorite among our TV partners. Uh, and then also a lot of individual products, new up and coming products, a lot in the green market and eco-friendly products. All these are trends we're seeing and we are a part of. All the products are offered on our bestbeautyfinds.com platform, which is our website uh, in which we showcase the products. You can purchase and shop by collection, by concern, by brand. Um, but everything is, you know, is offered and laid out. Another thing to point out is the content and the images. We have a fully uh, functional photography studio in-house and any product image that you've seen so far and will see it throughout this presentation was curated by us. And this sets us apart because we are able to tailor and customize uh, based on restrictions for sizing, for composition, for you know, different platforms have different requirements, uh, and we can certainly adapt to it. Uh, many of the products that we receive samples of, or we receive vendor images of, once they come out of our studio, you wouldn't you wouldn't even recognize. And this is just an example of the things that we do, from kitchen gadgets to makeup to cell phone accessories. Existing and future operations. So we're very excited about what the future holds. But before that, here's a little snippet of what our company looks like between the president, CEO. Uh, I oversee our sales department. Uh, and we're definitely looking to hire and expand in the year to come and beyond. Our existing operation consists of 150 plus brands operating in approximately 10 categories, over 80 platforms and distribution channels, two wholly owned websites, uh, we have a facility in Miami in which we store currently over 2.5 million in inventory, 30 employees, um, and again, the list goes on. Between a photography studio, fulfillment center, dropship capabilities, full accounting team, and a full sales team all in-house, we are primed to take the future by storm. And the future, uh, future looks good. We're looking to expand in a few pivotal points, one of them being hiring and expanding the team. So you can see here a brief breakdown of future positions we're looking to occupy from accounting to shipping and logistics, along with design. Another big growth we're anticipating and looking forward to is in sales and marketing, uh, setting up an Amazon division, a marketplace division, uh, a brand onboarding sourcing rep uh, right now, a lot of what we're doing is um, referrals. Uh, we do a bit of sourcing ourselves, but having a dedicated team to really go out and find the new thing, find the new brand and onboard them um, is definitely going to propel us forward. Our future plans include expanding e-commerce, and this means optimizing our existing networks, optimizing our existing listings, and opening the doors to the many new marketplaces and websites that are popping up. Um, 
if it's celebrities that are launching, if it's uh, you know new tech and gadgets that have been launched, uh, platforms to be able to sell them, we would like to be a part of it. Uh, so a big part of our future is expanding the operation um, as well as data-driven results. We want to be able to retarget our consumers. We want to know better who our consumers are uh, so that we can expand uh, based on real data. Another exciting plan in the pipeline for us is catalog expansion by way of Yuka owned brands. We currently represent and work with many partner brands. These are the manufacturers and the vendors. They are our bread and butter. But with that, we have positioned ourselves to have established very strong ties and relationships to these manufacturers. And knowing the landscape, knowing the trends, knowing what is coming next, we are very excited to start partnering up in order to launch and create our own brands. What that's going to mean is not just you know, revenue in terms of sales, but we'll be able to bring, build brand equity uh, that's going to elevate and propel the company forward. Another big plan for the future for us is logistic software to be able to uh, create a customizable software that will mainly focus on inventory management and automation of product listings with the many platforms we sell on and the thousands of SKUs that we have, uh, being able to roll out a software that encompasses all of it would be fantastic and that is in the plan. Additionally, we, have, we would like to incorporate some sort of CMS system to allow our brands to upload product information uh, and imagery directly to our software. The financial. All right, so um, this is uh, showing uh, sales by channel. Uh, obviously, we're on we're on a trajectory upwards, upwards and onwards. Um, past sales and sales projections. So in 2020, we hit just under 10 million, uh, and we have projections in 2021 to reach just under 12. Um, you know, the the expansion and the growth, hiring of new members. Uh, diligently working on opening new channels, onboarding new brands, the opportunities are limitless. Uh, by quarter, you can see here, we're projecting a 20% growth in 2020, uh, overall over 2021, uh, oh, sorry, 2021, over 2020. Um, and lastly, I wanted to speak a little to market and margin analysis. So what differentiates Yuka is the fact that we while we're a placement agency, we're not a service agency in the regular sense of the word. We do not charge anything upfront for our services. There is no monthly retainer to our vendors. So it is essentially risk-free. What we do need is sharp, aggressive pricing in order for our business model to thrive. We work typically on a minimum of 35% margin. Some products are eligible for significantly higher margins. We have products in our portfolio these days selling at 50 and even 60% margin. Once those margins are added to the cost of goods that we receive, that is what is then submitted uh, to our distribution partners for approval. And now we're going to hand the last few slides over to speak. Uh, this is gross margin. We're going to jump through these real quick because we're running out of time. Um, and um, yes. Good. Ah, okay. So I just want to. That's interesting. Okay. I, I, my name is uh, Jerry Miller, and I, um, I'm assist, uh, assisting a company on the consultant side. <clears throat> so I just want to give a brief, uh, a quick update on just some of the events that are in the process of being done, or some that have happened already. So the company went public first in March of 2019. Since then, um, we just completed a complete restructure. And we went through a reverse, and our post reverse issued an outstanding now is two million uh, two million common shares, and um, we have filed to reduce our authorized down to five hundred million. Currently, um, we're trading. I, I believe the last I checked was around two dollars a share. <clears throat> the other thing is we are also in the process of doing our audits so that we can become a fully reported company, and uh, if we feel will lead into filing a form 10, and in the end will increase uh, shareholder value. And finally, you know, obviously our path uh, will be to move to the NASDAQ. And we also feel that with everything that we have going on right now, that we are 
way, way undervalued. I think that's. I think that's it. Right. I think that we're, we're short in a little few minutes, uh, but that's it for, for us. Great presentation. Yes, we do have a few questions for you and we will, the team here will absolutely send those to you so you can answer them all. Um, we do have a few minutes, so let's talk about growth. What do you guys see in the next five years in terms of growth? How are you gonna increase sales? Um, so that's a great question. And, and I think we touched on it partially through the presentation. Um, our main growth is going to come from expanding our footprint within e-commerce. There are so many new websites uh, that are up and coming. I think Amazon has a very tight hold on what's happening in e-commerce, um, you know, and, and, and consumer expectations. Uh, but with that said, many, many new platforms are, are coming up uh, to kind of fill the divide. A lot of brands are, um, are not too happy to say the least with with the way Amazon currently operates, and I think that's going to leave a gap in the very near future to be able to really expand um, on on sales in that regard. In addition, our own brands, so launching lines uh, are at the forefront is going to be CBD lines uh, because it is a very big category for us. Uh, and once those are under the Yuka umbrella, once those are Yuka brands, um, I think the sky's the limit. Perfect. Thank you. And elaborate a little bit more. That was another question about creating your own brands. Talk a little bit more about that. Any specific categories that you are merging into? Um, yes. So as I said, CBD is going to be at the forefront. Um, it's, a, it's a booming category. Uh, the compounds in the plants uh, that have been approved and legalized in the Farm Bill in, in 2018 are just now kind of catching up. Uh, so CBD is very well known, uh, but now we're seeing many, many trends to incorporate Delta H, CBG, CBA. There's over 100 compounds in, in that miraculous plant, and I think being able to mirror the success we see in CBD to those other compounds is going to go a long way, and that that's going to be a focus uh, as far as our own own brands and and things to come up with, uh, as well as in the beauty. Beauty is a very strong category for us. And again, being able to partner up with, uh, you know, partners that have immense manufacturing capabilities worldwide, uh, we'll be able to keep our costs low, we'll be able to utilize our knowledge, know-how and experience and translate that into enticing packaging. Um, and I think we'll be able to see great numbers there as well. Fantastic. Thank you all. Wonderful presentation. Great product. Thank you. We are following all of your updates. Thank you for joining us here. Perfect. Thank you, guys. All right. We wish you well. See you again.